Rod Warriors, Jimmy Versalino here, USMC vet, mortgage originator, specializing in VA loans. It's good to be with every single one of you today, my veterans, active duty service members that absolutely love this channel. Really quick, your guys' comments on this channel absolutely motivate the heck out of me. Yo. Thank you so much for the kind words, the appreciation, and most importantly, your service to our great country. Good to go. So we're gonna get this party started today and we are going to talk about a very, how would you say, confusing form. That confusing form is a copy of our certificate of eligibility. Veterans don't know how to read this form. I've talked about it in the past. Today, we're going to do an updated version called the VA Loan COE Masterclass, all right? But before we do, you know, we've got some business to take care of. Number one, do me a favor or click like on this channel if I've earned it. Number two, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you wanna learn more about VA home loan benefits. And number three, comment down below with your questions. Together, we'll get them answered to make sure that you're well-equipped, ready to move forward and go out there and put rounds down range. The VA Certificate of Eligibility, what the heck is it, how does it work? Well, basically, in the most simple form, it's simply saying this, you're eligible to get a VA home loan benefit. Congratulations, but guess what? You've still got some work to do. You still gotta get pre-qualified, the nice thing is, is you know that you can take advantage of the VA home loan benefits. You still have to have the credit, you still have to have the income, etc. but now you know at least you're eligible. So there's a couple of ways to get this form. Number one, your mortgage lender, somebody like myself can assist you in getting it. Or number two, you can actually request a copy. You can get it through your e-benefits portal, va.gov, and you can get a copy of it there too. A couple of things that I wanna bring your attention to here, okay? This is an actual certificate of eligibility that we've redacted. You've got the name of the veteran, the service number, okay, or the social, the entitlement code. In the branch of service here says Army, all right? Nobody's perfect, by the way. You can see that it says non-exempt funding fee or no SC combined percentage. What does that mean? Here's what it means. It means that this particular veteran does not have a VA service-connected disability. And because they don't have a VA service-connected disability, they are going to have to pay for something called a VA funding fee. Good to go. That VA funding fee is a cost imposed on the mortgage by the VA to cover the risk associated with the loan. We'll get into a little bit more about that later. But what you can see right here is, is prior loans charged to entitlement, okay? So if you look in this box, it says VA loan number, state, loan amount, date of loan entitlement charge, and status. In this particular instance, this box is blank. This box is blank. So that means that the veteran has full entitlement. What does full entitlement mean? It means that they could use 100% of their VA home loan benefit. In other words, they don't have any outstanding Standing. They don't have any VA loans that are active. If there were VA loans that were active, it would show up in this box under loan amount, the date of the loan and entitlement charge. And if it showed entitlement charge, we as the mortgage lender would deduct that from the veteran's remaining entitlement. And then we would calculate what your new loan amount would be or what you would be eligible up to on your new loan amount. I'll try and break that down a little bit more in greater detail in here in just a bit. But the one thing that I see confuse veterans more than anything on our VA loan is this next box where it says the veteran's basic entitlement is $36,000. $36,000? Like I can't buy anything. I can't even buy a car for that. Everybody hang in there with me, right? The VA loan actually allows us to go significantly higher than that. You may or may not know this, but the VA loan doesn't even have a loan amount, how would you say, um, max limit. It doesn't have a loan max. So what that means is, is we can purchase a home up to any purchase price we'd like with no money down. A lot of people don't know that too. In this particular example, it says 36,000. So I'm gonna write this down on our box here, $36,000. This is what's referred to as basic entitlement. So in Entitlement is synonymous in this particular example with uh, guarantee or insurance that the VA provides. So I'm gonna take it one step further and actually explain to you how VA works. A lot of veterans get confused when they see that this veteran's basic entitlement is $36,000. Here's really all that means, right? It's insurance or guarantee. It represents 25% of $144,000. So what I'm getting at here is, is a veteran can actually 
actually go to $144,000 with their basic entitlement. Now that still might not get us very far. States across the nation, $144,000 may not even get you a condo. VA is aware of that. And VA is aware that real estate values have always appreciated over time. So they created something called bonus entitlement. Now here's what happens. Follow me on this, okay? So we've got our basic right here of $36,000. That's the basic insurance or entitlement that the VA gives us. They also give us something called an additional bonus entitlement of 120 to 50. That's like an additional entitlement that will allow us to get a home even greater than 144,000 with no money down. So watch what happens. If we add both of these together, we come up with this number right here of $156,000, 156,250 to be exact, okay? We take that number, we multiply it by four, and now guess what we get? $625,000. One of the main questions that I get when I explain this to veterans and real estate professionals across the nation, they say, Jimmy, why did you multiply it by four? Answer, because this number represents 25% of the maximum loan limit on a VA loan of 625,000. You with me? You on the same sheet of music? You picking up what I'm putting down on this? But Jimmy, you said earlier that VA doesn't have any maximum loan amounts. That is true. You, know, you can get a one-time exception above $625,000 where the VA will kick in even more entitlement slash guarantee. So a couple of other things that you need to be aware of on the certificate of eligibility funding fee. It says this veteran is not exempt from a funding fee. You have a 10% VA disability. Your VA funding fee is waived. It's important to know that moving forward. If for some reason you have filed a claim and you are in the process of going through the VA home loan or obtaining a VA home loan and you close after your claim has been filed. But what ends up happening is, is you get approved for your claim. Good news. You can get a refund. All right. And right there on the certificate of eligibility explains to you how to do that and the phone number that you should call. So my name is Jimmy Versalino. I hope you've found some of this information as it relates to our certificate of eligibility to be of value. For more questions and answers, feel free to roger up with me by commenting on this video below, visiting my website at valoansforvets.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Hey, thank you and may God bless you for your service to our great country. Semper Fi.